April Jones, the little girl who went out to play and never came home. These the last pictures of her, leaving a swimming lesson. Two hours after these CCTV images were filmed, April was abducted. Today, her parents, Paul and Coral, watched in court as Mark Bridger was found guilty of abduction and murder. We are relieved that Mark Bridger has today been found guilty of the murder of our beautiful daughter, April. April will be forever in our hearts and we are so moved by the overwhelming support we have had from so many people from all over the world. It was Coral who made the original 999 call, so distraught that a neighbour had to take over. Police emergency. Please, I have been kidnapped. Well, can you speak to some police? She's gone off in a car with somebody. Somebody's picked up in a car or something. OK, what's the name of the child that's gone missing? April Jones. April, how old is she? Five. April knew her killer. Mark Bridger, a former friend of her parents, a father himself, but a man with a dark secret, an obsessive sexual interest in young children. As the search for April began, a police helicopter filmed Bridger by chance. Shortly afterwards, he was arrested, his car linked to April's disappearance. His explanation? It was an accident. He'd run her over and couldn't remember what he'd done with the body. It was a lie he maintained from the moment he was booked in at the police station, through his interviews and into the courtroom. I would describe him as evil, manipulative. He has committed the most horrific crimes and yet he, and, and he also will not tell the mum and dad, the family of April Jones, what he has actually done with their daughter and that is just unbearable. At the beginning, a panicked plea for help from April's mum. Later, Coral and Paul sat through every day of the trial, listening to harrowing evidence. Traces of April's blood found inside Mark Bridger's home. A burnt knife near the fireplace. Tiny fragments of a child's skull in the ashes. And a haunting image, Bridger's car driving away from the town. At this point, April was inside it. Less than 24 hours after he abducted April, as she played with her friends near these garages, Mark Bridger was arrested. Police had their suspect, but he wasn't giving them any answers. Even after they charged him with murder, they were unable to locate April's body. The search continued for more than six months. Mark Bridger now faces justice, but April's family still don't have her back. They don't know what happened to her inside Mark Bridger's home. They don't know how she died or where she is. They can't lay her to rest. Convicted of murder, Mark Bridger is still playing what the prosecution called his cruel game. Peter Lane, 5 News.